November is American Diabetes Month. The CDC says one in 10 Americans have diabetes, but listen to this. One in five with diabetes don't know they have it. Mm. Yeah, KSHB 41 News anchor Taylor Hemnes spoke to a local doctor and patient who both called the disease a burden. But right here in Kansas City, there's a world class science facility conducting research that could have a massive impact on the search for a cure. Sierra Reynolds is 25 years old and has been living with type 1 diabetes for more than a decade. My insulin pump I keep on me at all times. She wears that pump and a continuous glucose monitor, thankful for the convenience they offer. I was able to go to my phone today and as I'm walking in the door, I'm able to program in that I need insulin and I hit confirm. My face ID like confirms it for me and I'm able to give myself insulin. And she's been told since the beginning that she would not face the disease forever. When I was diagnosed almost 14 years ago, I, um, they told me, you know, we should have a cure. We hope to have a cure within the next 10 to 15 years. And we're almost, you know, we're getting closer to that 15 year mark and we're coming so far. Coming so far, yes, but also seeing more patients. The CDC says that between 2017 and 2020, the number of type 1 patients in America increased by 30%. There are even some theories that the disease didn't even exist two or 300 years ago, so it may be a modern disease, and there are speculations that it may be related to changes in diet, environmental toxins, bacteria, viruses, and so on. So it's a bit of a medical mystery what's going on. Dr. David Robbins is the director of the Cray Diabetes Center at the University of Kansas Health System. He says in 30 plus years of treating the disease, he's seen the lifespan of a patient increase dramatically. So he's optimistic for the future. I think we can cure type one diabetes. And that might be where these fish come in. So we're using cave fish um, as a system to study how animals adapt to nutrient limitation in general. The Stowers Institute in Kansas City has the largest cave fish facility in the country. These fish spend months at a time without eating and then gorge themselves when food is available. They are glucose intolerant, they are insulin resistant, they have high blood sugar, but they don't have any signs, um, negative signs associated with this. Dr. Nicholas Rohner and his team study the fish's metabolism with the hope that thinking outside the box in the animal kingdom could change humanity for the better. Basically a disease in humans is just something went wrong that usually should work well. So first what you have to understand is how does it work well and then you can understand how it went wrong and then what you can do to restore it back. Taylor Hymnus, KSHB 41 News. It's fascinating. Sierra works as a diabetes educator, so this is a big month for her. And she told Taylor that she still encounters people who are surprised if she has to administer an insulin shot at maybe a restaurant or other public space. That's a big deal. You got to yeah. plan your day around it. Make sure you can. She also said that she'd absolutely rather you ask questions so she can explain her disease to you and not feel embarrassed.